Boxing fans, what's good? It's Chris Robinson here with undefeated lightweight contender Mickey Bay, who at the top ranked team in Las Vegas. Mickey, uh, right before another day of training, man, how, what, how's everything going, bro? Oh, it's going great, man. You know, I've been off for a minute getting my hand together. Mm -hmm. you know, everything is going good. Got you now. Uh, That's up. Just keeping everything spiritual, training, no. training, and everything, doing my job. And tell us about your hand. Like, you injured it in your last fight. Um, what was well, it? Yeah, well, yeah, well, actually, it been, you know, it been, what happened was it been messed up for a couple years, actually. But, yeah. you know, I fractured it, mm -hmm. and I just kept coming back and fighting too soon. Really? So, you know, it just you know made the problem even worse so now we are you know it's probably it's a lot better now you know is that a concern of you that your hand has been injured in the past as mentally does that kind of factor into not you really not, no, not really because i know it was really my fault you know I, yeah i should i mean i'm talking about i got in the gym about four weeks after it was fractured really and then fought two months later so mm -hmm. i was just so excited to fight being That's... with a new promoter when i signed with top rank got you, you know that I was just willing to do anything to fight, so I've been fighting with one hand probably half of my fights now. Got you. Now you were top rank. Um, anything um, coming up? Like what? I know you had mentioned a title shot. Yeah, possibly. yeah, definitely. Yeah, we gonna get about one, one, maybe one or two little quick fights in, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we gonna go, go get one of those titles. All right, look at the lightweight division just to run a few names by you. You know, IBF champion Miguel Vasquez, kind of awkward, tricky guy. Uh, any thoughts on him? Not really. He wouldn't be tricky to me, though. That's really? one thing. I've never <laughs> seen him fight, but yeah. I mean, I've been solving puzzles since mm -hmm. I had probably 200-something fights and haven't lost, gotcha. never lost as a pro and barely lost as an amateur. So, Got you, man. Uh, it wouldn't be a problem for me. He had more tricks to solve than I would. So. Got you. Now, Antonio DeMarco is a... Uh, a lot of people regard him as a man at 135. I mean, he had the victory over Linares. What are your thoughts on him? Oh, he's a good fighter, but if I had to pick, that'd be the guy I'd fight. Really? Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, he's a solid fighter, good fighter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw his fight against Linares. You know, that was a pretty good win for mm -hmm. him. Uh, you know, that'd be my choice guy. You know, to fight. Got you. So hopefully, we can get it, get it, get that one made. And there was talk. Um, I don't know how soon, how far ago it was about a possible fight with Brandon Rios, but he moved right, up right, to 140. Right. Do you think he's gonna be all right at 140, or do you think he'll find it tough up there? No, I don't think it's tough. You know, because he'd be stronger at that weight. I think. Yeah. Uh, and then a lot of the best 140 pounders went, are 147 now. So. Yeah. Now I think Brandon would do good at that weight, and uh. You know, I don't plan on staying lightweight forever either, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I walk around a little bit over 140, so, you know, we could still fight one day at 140. And is, has it been hard on you just having a hand injury and kind of sitting on the sidelines when you're just so eager to get back in the ring? Yeah, it's hard, but at the same time, I'm healthy. You yeah. Know, I, I never smoke or drink a day in my life, so. Yeah. All I do is do all the things that I got to do to, to, to keep all the pluses on my side good and Actually, you know, I don't mind it because, you know, when I burst on the scene just for the casual fans, it's just going to be an exciting thing. Like, man, where this guy been? Like, gotcha. you know, almost something sort of like that. So it's, it's all good. And those who know you in boxing, you, you learn a lot from, you know, all three of the Mayweathers, you know, Floyd Sr., Jeff, Roger, I believe. I mean, just what's your history like with the Mayweathers? What has it been like working with them over the years? Oh, it's been great. Um, You know, like I tell everybody, uh, I knew that Floyd Floyd Sr. would be my trainer in the 90s. This was before Floyd even yeah. won the title. So, you know, a lot of people just start giving them credit after Floyd became Money Mayweather. Yeah. You know, I've been knowing Floyd Jr. since I was in high school. We always talked and, you know, I always had it set in my mind that Floyd Sr. would be my trainer since I was a kid. So, mm -hmm. you know, I just first turned pro with him and um, learned a whole lot. Got you. Um, now, Floyd Mayweather, uh, recently he, he filed an appeal, I know you know him very well, to have a house arrest for the remainder of his sentence, but his appeal was denied. He claims that the conditions he's under in, in the jail are kind of like affecting his body physically and mentally. Have you heard about that? Any thoughts? Yes. What do you um, think about that, man? I mean, I think that's true. Uh, you know, you got to think about it. The kind of food that they 
serve in there is ridiculous. It's not even food. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much just stuff they, it's like feeding the dog almost. So <laughs> anybody that say, oh, Floyd being weak and this and that, and, yeah. and, and he crying and whining, I mean, the truth is the truth. I mean, this guy is eating at the at a top level as far as healthy. And for you to just transform and sleeping on the brick pretty much and eating dog food, yeah. You know, I think hopefully they let him out soon. Got you. They recently announced uh, Sal Alvarez looked like he very likely could be fighting Victor Ortiz. Uh, what, what do you think about that fight between those two guys? Oh, I think that's a good fight. Um, you know, it's at 154. Victor's big and strong, so yeah. I think that's a real good match and an even matchup. And the reason I asked, I talked to HBO analyst Larry Merchant. He says if Alvarez wins that fight, they might try to position him for a shot at uh, Floyd. Uh, what do you think about Floyd and Alvarez? Uh, I don't think he nowhere near ready for Mayweather. Really? No disrespect to Alvarez, but he's still young. Yeah. Great fighter. It'd be a real good event, like as far as yeah. it'll sell good, but Alvarez is still a kid. You know, I don't think that he should fight Mayweather. Maybe him and Cotto, I think, yeah. would be a better match, a good match. What did you think of Mayweather versus Cotto? Oh, I thought that was a great fight. You know, Cotto showed that at 154, and with his new training team, he looked he looked great. He looked that was the best I saw Cotto almost ever as a yeah, pro. Yeah, awesome man. He well, looked good. Thanks a lot, Mickey man. We'll be in touch with you, bro. Good luck.